we spent one day nonstop, like, please hold, please hold. At a clinic with a workload of many days. Thank you for calling Women's Reproductive Clinic. How can I help you? Not just any clinic. Okay, your name? The only one hundreds of miles from anywhere in Texas for women wanting abortions. So then we'll see you tomorrow um, at 1130. Bye-bye. Started by Dr. Franz Theard, an OBGYN of over 45 years. These are just for this week. Fort Worth, Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Dr. Theard's clinic is uniquely positioned less than a mile from the Texas state line. The state of New Mexico does not have major abortion restrictions, like many of its surrounding states. But lately, here, it's been all Texas. You're coming from what part of Texas? Since the passage of SB8. Arlington? Out of 10, 10. We spoke with women at the clinic who have trusted us to protect their identities. One, it's deeply personal. Two, they fear prosecution in their home state. Uh, I flew in from Texas, rented a car, and drove across state lines. Travel 500 something miles, eight to 10 hours um, driving, and then we got a hotel just to be safe. Some who have the means fly into El Paso, book a hotel. Others endure the long drive across the Rio Grande into Santa Teresa, New Mexico. The option of Oklahoma or uh, Louisiana is gone. A lot of them are very angry. So for tomorrow, we would have Huecos. A lot of the patients are coming from all over the state. Dallas, Dallas. And Exhausting your resources and having to kind of go out of your way to, you know, feel safe. They tell us they're spending between $500 and $1,500 just to get here. That doesn't include the $700 for the exam, ultrasound, counsel, and two pills Dr. Thayard prescribes. I look him in the eye while I do the ultrasound, and I have to ask, is this your decision? A decision layered in emotional, physical, and mental stress. I know I have to do what's best for me and my life right now. There are often protesters out front. This 73-year-old physician has heard and seen it all. You're entitled to your opinion, but I sleep very well every night, so. Do you have a doctor over there? Uh, yeah, I do. This is all uncharted territory for many who come through these doors. You may or may not tell him. Everything is just a little scary. I don't, you know, want to go to jail. Thank you for calling Women's Reproductive. How can I help you? Dr. Thayard started practicing when Roe v. Wade was adopted. We have appointments available for uh, Thursday the 14th, Friday the 15th, and Saturday the 16th. And says he'll continue. Okay, so we can do the week of the 11th. When it is no longer law of the land. Thank you. We're trying to get everyone in as soon as possible, but it's hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're tired at the end of the day. Tomorrow we're going to be more tired. These are different times, and everyone is still adjusting. It's your mom. In New Mexico, I'm Joe Panic.